Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel of B4Biker. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss out any updates on bikes and adventure. Without any further ado, let's proceed to the video. The Adventure Vibe have struck up almost every rider out there. As the market is expanding, we see Adventure Motorcycle category introducing to a large extent. Back in 2016, Royal Enfield introduced Himalayan but the issue with BS3 halted the production and they relaunched the model with BS4 compliance. Meanwhile, BMW launched G310GS as an entry-level adventure motorcycle in 2018. These are two of the best and cheapest motorcycles you can buy in India. However, the price does vary a lot. The G310GS is almost double the price of Himalayan. So here the question is, should you pay double for the BMW G310GS? You will get the answer in this video. Stay tuned. Himalayan gets a 411cc single-cylinder 4-stroke air-cooled SOSC fuel-injected engine. On the other hand, G310GS gets a 311cc single-cylinder 4-stroke engine. The BMW is more powerful whereas the Himalayan is more torquey. And for off-roading, good torque is important. While the motor on the Himalayan is air-cooled, the engine on the GS is liquid-cooled. Furthermore, the engine on the GS is smartly done as it is a reversed incline engine. But the Himalayan has a low-end performance with a great mid-range. However, both the bikes do give a great vibes. The gearing feels taller on the Royal Enfield, so a 5-speed unit does the job similar to the 6-speed unit seen on the GS. BMW looks like a big bike with a dual-tone signature GS color, adventure-style front B, tall upright riding position, while the Himalayan looks like a purposeful rugged motorcycle built to take rugged and challenging off-road paths. GS is loaded with amazing look as compared to Himalayan which has a minimal amount of body work. The Himalayan and the GS gets LED only in the tail light. No doubt, both the motorcycles are true attention seeker. Both the Himalayan and the G310GS gets a dual-channel ABS, however, ABS isn't switchable in Himalayan like the G310GS, so off-roaders may miss this feature. Talking about the instrument cluster, GS gets fully digital unit, while instrument cluster seen on the Himalayan is an analog digital unit, the most advanced one seen on the Royal Enfield. The switch gear quality is much better on the GS. With a seat height of 800mm seen on the Himalayan, it is easily accessible and easy to ride. On the other hand, GS gets 835mm seat height making the motorcycle more composed. The fuel tank for GS is 11 litres only, while the Himalayan has a bigger 15 litres fuel tank. Himalayan gets a telescopic fork at the front, while the GS gets upside-down fork. Both the motorcycle get a monoshock at the rear. GS is more suited for road riding, while Himalayan is suited for off-roading. Also, the ground clearance of GS seems to be much better. Both the motorcycle gets a grab rail. For luggage, G310 GS have enough space to mount luggage. If you want to carry a pillin along with you, Himalayan is the best. The price of Himalayan for 2019 with ABS starts from 1.79 lakhs, whereas GS's highly priced starts from Rs 3.49 lakhs. The amount of features BMW offer in the bike doesn't justify the high price tag. The Himalayan on the other hand may have few features less, but it still stands unbeatable for the Indian market. This information is sufficient for you to decide your pick. So tell us in the comments section what do you think. Thank you for watching. If you really enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Want to know anything about bikes and stuff? Leave down your queries in the comments section. We will be more than happy to help you.